Hello, everybody, Animation Trainer here, and today we're going to talk about Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So, Goblet of Fire is the one most complained, the, the book, the film with the most complaints because of things that they changed from the book. And while I could definitely see those things, I'm not going to complain about that because it's expected every single movie based off of a book will have these things. Although it does cause some things in the movie to be really unnecessary, though. Like the Quidditch World Tournament match. That thing was only was barely like shown at all. Well, that was like the majority of the beginning of the book. I mean, I mean they could have skipped it, but at the same time, more people would be mad because they skipped it and all. So yeah, there's also that. Also, Dobby. Dobby was not in the movie at all while he appeared in the book. Yeah. Now, even though I am disappointed with all of those things, although, to be honest, the Quidditch World Tournament was kind of boring in the book, I do not consider these to be, like, full-out flaws, to be honest. Same with the maze at the end. I mean, I was a little disappointed because it was just a maze, and I felt excitement in the book because there was all bog arts everywhere and everything, and then Harry was running around... Like, sh like firing stoop flies and oh, and this un one other spell I forgot and everyone and it just felt exciting. But they didn't do that in the book. It was just a plain maze and they were just running around and and everything. Yeah, there were spiders in the maze in the book too. Yeah, yeah. But those I don't really consider those legitimate flaws. The real flaw with it is that they feel unnecessary since they barely cover it. Like with the World Quidditch Tournament, they f it feels unnecessary. But at the same time, the book did it, so I guess we do it too. That's why, I mean, why did they make Chamber of Secrets the longest book? I mean, the longest movie if the book is so short. Well, this one is like 700 pages and they skipped... So much of it. Yes, they literally did. Yeah. And to be honest, and this is more of a problem with the actual story. With like the book too, rather than the movie. And to be honest, this film isn't as memorable as the first three films. As of now, I'd say that, that this is the worst Harry Potter movie. As of now, that is. As of now. Because... I don't know, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, or one of the Deathly Hollows movies might be worse than this. Yeah. And plus, there is something that kind of bothers me where once Harry's name gets picked out and Harry says that he doesn't do, that he never put it, put his name in, and they have a feeling that someone's trying to kill Harry and they let him play anyways, that just really bothered me in the film. Yeah. Now, things that I did like. The Goblet of Fire tournament, or the Triwizard tournament, definitely was really cool and all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and another flaw real quick. Um, Cho Chang is a bland character in this film. She's meant to be Harry's love interest, but to be honest, they just didn't use her that much, and she's rather bland in the film, to be honest. Same with Sirius Black, although I'm not going to complain about him as much because he's meant to be a side character who talks to Harry throughout the film. Yeah. But like I said, the Triwizard Tournament is definitely really cool and all. Alright. But um, as of now, I'm going to go into more spoilers because there's a lot of spoilers in this film that I'm definitely going to have to talk about. Now, let me go into deep each um, Triwizard Tournament um, little by little. Alright, so... the First of all, the Dragon. The Dragon Tournament. That's probably my favorite one out of all three. Although, um, in the books, my favorite one was the Maze, but... They didn't 
they didn't make it as cool as it was in the book, so I'm gonna have to go with the dragons on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought it looked really cool, and, you know, the special effects look good at this point, so everything's pretty cool here. And Harry did, um, when, when um, Harry went for the Accio Firebolt, I was just amazed, you know. Now I like going around, and whenever I'm gonna sprint or anything, I always say Accio Firebolt or something like that. Yeah. As for the mermaid one, I thought that that one was actually better than the book, unlike um, the maze. I mean, I just felt like it was handled a lot better and all. Yeah, and it all looked pretty good in this film. Like, the mermaids um, are well designed, and everything does look, look well done with how Harry was using the fins and everything. And the maze, while it was disappointing and all... I will say that it was still decent. Yeah. Now for major spoilers. Um, in case you guys just stayed. This is where I go deep into major spoilers. Moody's plot twist. And I know there's always a plot twist with every single dark arts teacher. Like how Lockhart was a phony. And how Lupus was able to turn into a werewolf. Here... Where Moody was just um, someone using a poly juice potion just so that he could put his name in the fire and then try to kill him. That I was not expecting at all. It was very well done. And and I did not see that coming. As for the other one that I kind of... That many people didn't see coming. Cedric Diggory's death. To be honest, I saw this coming. I mean, I had a feeling that one of the Goblet members was going to die... And I doubt that it was Crumb, and the other, and the girl, was barely even talked about in this film, so... And I knew that since Cedric is the only other one from Hogwarts, that, well... He's the only one who matters in the film and might even return, so... To be honest, I saw his death coming. As for Voldemort appearing, I did not expect that at all. Like... I didn't even think that Voldemort would come out until Deathly Hollows, and Voldemort's appearance was just amazing, and the final battle with him and Harry was definitely amazing, and it makes up for most of the flaws throughout the film. Well, like, I like that scene where he went for the Avada Kedavra, and Harry went for the Expelliarmus, and then um his parents and Cedric showed up and um they were telling him that he could do it and then he was able to get Voldemort and then use Accio on the trophy and then leave. That scene was amazing. Yes. Yeah. It was just amazing. Yeah. So overall, I give this an 8 out of 10. It's definitely in no way bad or anything, trust me. This film is still really enjoyable with all the Triwizard events and the final battle in the end with Voldemort. Yes. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode, so goodbye.